Hi guys, Abs here. I'm going to be showing you a demonstration of exactly how you can use the auto backlink bomb and how you'll actually structure all your files as well. Um, so the very first thing that I'm going to do is bring you over to the actual folder of the auto backlink bomb. Um, this is the application folder. Along with this guys, you might have a number of other folders inside of here as well, such as your proxy scraper, your hub pages commenter, your link sorter, your link scraper, um, and various other folders as well. Um, the areas that I'm going to be that, that I'm going to be focusing on. Are on this tutorial is going to be regarding the files that run with the actual auto backing bomb itself. Um, so the very first one you're going to have an auto backing bomb ABB auto backing bomb exe application folder file sorry and that is the one that you're going to be using and double clicking to actually open up the auto backlink bomb you'll have a .lib file guys which you don't need to worry about it still needs to be in there though um, and where it says bot run this will only open up once you do open up the auto backlink bomb application and the same with this pgtmp.temp file uh, which will also open up once you open up the auto backlink bomb um, you won't have change log if uh, it's your first time you're actually using it um, however what I will note let me just bring that back anyway guys um, but yes you won't have that in there unless you actually have updates um, what you will have guys you'll have a number of files you won't have the profile URLs text file to start off with you won't have the email accounts to start off with either because these are all files that get generated through the process or throughout the um, working um, processes of the auto backlink bomb okay so you'll have a number of files um, the ones that will be very distinct to actually recognize and look at will be the platform files the multiple forum platforms that the auto backlink bomb supports are six and they are php fox php bb my bb expression engine elgg and they are the six files um, they are the six platforms as well so inside of these files guys you have your URLs these are the URLs that the software will use when signing up to um, and obviously after you have signed up to them um, whatever you say whatever you save over your sign up data that is going to be the file that the software is going to use when posting to so obviously you have all your files here um, your platform files which are populated with a number of URLs to get you going to start off with um, along with that guys you'll also have another file called account details.txt now the account details.txt file is the actual file that's going to be holding um, all of your details that the software is going to use to actually sign up with um, so you'll have your username your email and also your password inside of this file um, I'll just close out of this now guys and show you exactly where that okay so this is your account details.txt file guys um, you, you, you'll, you'll have this inside of the application folder and on your very first line will be your username followed by your email address on the second line and followed by your password on the third line now just to let you know guys that your username is spinnable to spin your username you'll be using standard spin syntax spin syntax opens up with a bracket like this um, separates each area between them with a pipeline like this which would be your shift key and the key next to your Z and you'll close them off with a closing bracket like this um, so that's it guys um, your username your email and password this that's where your details go in for the sign up um, and then obviously um, wherever you want to save your details to guys you would be clicking on browse and you'll find a location to save your details to one thing um, that I would advise personally would be to name the sign up data that you're going to be saving over after the platform that you're working on and then after the website that you're working on as well or the date um, so when you do go to posting it's going to be very easy to find out what website you was working on and what platform to choose to actually post to um, the set list position is very straightforward guys um, if you have about say 5,000 or I don't know, however many URLs you have in any of your platform text files um, and you've already signed up to a number of them URLs and you don't want to go back over and sign up to them again then you can enter the list position here and whatever number you put in here that's the number that the software will start signing up from um, the number of sites to sign up to guys again if you have a number of URLs in your platform files but you only want to sign up to a certain number of file um, a certain number of sites then you will need to enter that number in there if you don't enter anything in here guys and the software is not going to work so you do need to enter at least a number one so so the software can sign up to at least one site for you other than that guys you have your um, platform files which you'll check here so whichever platform you want to actually sign up to just check that one so um, the software will know which one to actually start signing up from or start signing up to obviously you have your stat monitors guys very straightforward they'll show you the position of the software um, if you want to use dcapture guys 
you can use dcapture uh, you'll check the use dcapture checkbox and you'll also ensure that you have a file in here called dcapture.txt and this file here guys will actually be populated with your dcapture username on line one your dcapture password on line two and your dcapture port on line three um, as long as you have these filled in like this guys um, all you need to do then is just check on um, use dcapture and the software will automatically send the capture details over to dcapture for auto capture solving you can sign up to dcapture.com sorry to a dcapture account by going to dcapture uh, dcapture.com I'll spell that wrong as well Oops. dcapture.com okay you can sign up get an account from here guys and then you can enter your details in the file um, create RSS ice rocket account guys um, this is actually to create an RSS ice rocket account um, and you'll actually use this area here um, in conjunction with the RSS masher and pinger um, so you would need to create an RSS ice rocket account from the sign up script because everything um, that's to do related with sign ups will be done from this script and then obviously when you are using the RSS masher and pinger uh, you can actually go away and fill out these details and then everything will already be signed up for you add image php fox guys very simple and easy um, you just check the checkbox if you're working with php fox accounts um, you'll have an image inside of your application folder called image one the software will automatically pick up pick up on this image one and enter it into php fox signups um, one thing that i must note guys is that the image one or the standard image that comes with the software has been used a number of times so it is a good idea to actually change that image uh, before you start use this function here um, skip capture protected guys uh, very simple very straightforward if you have capture protected sign up sites it will skip them for you however I must note guys that this does only work with expression engine because it is only expression engine that has about 60% capture protected sign ups whereas the other platform sites have about a 90% capture protected sign ups on there if not more now when you're coming over to posting guys posting is very simple and straightforward um, you enter your login details here now the login details that the software is referring to are the details that you use when you saved over the details on the sign up script so they're the details that you enter in here guys set list position a number of sites to post to is exactly the same it's going to work in exactly the same way as it did in the sign up script so for example you might have already posted or signed up to 1000 sites but you might only have posted to say 50 sites um, so you can actually tell the software to start from the 51st URL here um, and then tell the software how many sites you want it to post to and then it will automatically stop now the benefits of having these areas here guys the number of sites to post to and the number of sites to sign up to um, is so that you don't have to babysit the software you can minimize the software and it will continue to go through all of the sites and it will actually stop um, after the amount of sites that you told it to stop to or to stop at um, now obviously you'd be using the um, platform that you use on the sign up scripts guys so if you used um, if for example you, you you saved over your details and the saved over details were used after posting or sorry after signing up to expression engine accounts guys then in the posting details it's going to be very important that you also check the expression engine um, account checkbox sorry and tell the software that okay the details that I've loaded inside of here are for the expression engine site and then the software will be able to go through that for you um, <clears throat> I do apologize I do apologize about my voice guys I've had a very bad throat over the weekend um, and I'm trying to get this done um, and obviously there is a lot of talking involved um, so I am sipping on my water while I'm speaking to you so I do apologize um, and towards the top left hand corner guys you have a settings tab once you click the settings tab you have a posting details um, tab come up and inside of this guys you'll have your signature bio details which you can load inside of the software and the same with article details now your signature bio details can be very straightforward guys just have all your details on the one line you can spin your details in there as well and just point over to that file before you start uh, before you click on play um, your article details guys so that is a little different compared to your signature bio details because it needs to be um, it needs to be entered inside of here in a special format as a result I will be doing a special um, tutorial on this and obviously your URL area guys is for them platforms that allow you to leave a URL along with your signature and bio details so it's, that, so it's actually an added bonus um, to enter your URL in there and you can spin it as well using your normal and standard spin syntax your URL SMF and keyword SMF guys um, exactly what it says guys um, it's exactly the same as this field here other, apart from this is specifically for SMF uh, because SMF allow you to 
um, enter a keyword to anchor your link in there as well um, so that's that part that's that out of the way guys your email creation and verification guys very straightforward you create email accounts with Hotmail GMX and AOL just check whichever one you want to um, create your email account with um, enter your email address in there that you're looking to create guys um, without the at hotmail.com or at gmx.com or at aol.com enter your password in there as well guys and after you have enter them details and check the applicable platform click play and it will automatically save over to a file called account um, email account dot text so you can have a safekeeping of your email account in there as well um, verify email guys by clicking on this is going to pull up the pop3 email verification script just like this um, you will need to enter your email address in there with the at hotmail.com or at gmail.com or whatever it is and your password you can also choose a number of threads that you want and then you can click on play um, if you do get a few issues when running this script guys um, you do tend to get a few issues sometimes with Gmail then just uncheck the require SSL and give it another go and see if it works that way and you have your email settings here so you can choose from pre-populated ones guys or you can actually enter other and enter your own personal details in there to work with um, and then obviously guys you've got the RSS master and ping and the RSS submission script both of which do have separate video tutorials um, other than that guys this is the ABB uh, you will find a number of other tutorials showing you how to scrape your links how to um, how to use the hub pages commenter how to use the link sorter and various other demonstrations as well on this page thank you very much guys and I hope this helped